Good afternoon from Yummy Bay TV. Wishing you all well. Sending loads of love to you as usual. The sun came out earlier, but it looks like it's gone back in. Might be traveling today. I'll keep you posted on that, of course. We're carrying on with the theme of the sad case yesterday of Olivier, the conviction of Cashman. But we move on. First of all, you've asked me to make my first comment on the sad murder in Wirral of Ellie Edwards. A man's got to go on trial in the summer. He hasn't been convicted yet. First things first, right? Another, another familiar story. I expect the trial, but if it's not this one, maybe another one, to go the same way as the case with Olivia. Many say, you know, that you could possibly, because you wasn't aiming for the targets, you might get manslaughter, blah, 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 not in a British courtroom. You will not. Many of us last year with the Cashman case, we said, yeah, but we know that he never meant it, but it's not going to matter because you're still there firing the gun, intending to murder somebody. Again, I reiterate, an all too familiar tale. Do you know what they used to say to me in jail when I used to speak to some of that age group, youngsters or 20s or 30s, and the way you lot describe social media, yeah, this man was a hit man. And da, da, da. I'm going to break it down for you properly today about what we know, all of us lot from the category A's over the years, what a real professional hit man sounds like, moves like, and the way that they do it. Different from the ones you're describing in the two events, yesterday's one and today's event I'm talking about, not him, man, right? I'll explain it to you, right? You might, yeah, but you done everything. All right, anyone could have um, two, three killings underneath their belt. It doesn't mean that they were proper hitmen, right? With Eddie Edwards, another one, Uncle Yummy says, spray and pray. They're the saying, right? I turn up, I'm on a mad thing tonight. I'm after him or I'm after her and I will just get out of the car and I will spray. Hopefully, I pray that I hit my target. Pray and pray, spray. That's the same, right? But hold on a minute, you stupid idiots. The percentages, probabilities and possibilities are seriously not in your favour. Uncle Yami was a raving nutter back in the day, but I would still know doing stuff like this on robberies, etc., and jobs, that the odds are too stacked in favour of somebody else getting hurt. The Eddie Edwards, sadly, not long after the Olivia case, Again, down those neck of the woods, I'm afraid. I don't know what's happening down there. We'll get to the bottom of it one day. Deep, deep stuff. So, the pray and spray method. The cash man thing through the door to the, the reality is the percentages. You could hit anybody. Because you know already, with the knowledge of that, that there's other people there that are not your intended targets. On the streets, we knew of recent case, um, old cases where innocent bystanders, girls, ladies in a crossfire, you, you get hit by part of the target he was after, but you kill all the rest or her, um, all the rest that you didn't want to go with. The Ellie Edwards case stinks of that. We break that down after the trial in the summer. But again, if it goes wrong, there's no manslaughter or nothing. You get convicted of murder. So, and there's a long list of um, other offences there as well. But let's just wait and see before we comment on that. Now, right, Mark Fellows, I say to you today, the video that I did on Mark Fellows with the Paul Massey thing, I got, obviously that sounds like it's right, he got convicted, but no, some of you are right. I did not get that right. He wasn't in, I don't know, because some of them from Manchester, again, Uncle, you have your brain. You're thinking he's someone else or you're listening to someone else at that time, thinking he was across there during that time, but it wasn't Mark Fellows that I saw when he was 21. Sorry about that. I have to break that down to you. Mark Fellows, compared to Cashman, to suppose whoever the, the murders, the murderer is on the Elliot Woods thing, and all those cases in recent 20 years um, history 
where the pray and spray method has been involved, where I'm after target, you lot around, I'll take my chances, blah de blah de blah. All them cases always go wrong. You have to face the music and you won't be respected in there. Every single day of that Cashman um, 42 years, it's not going to go well for him, um, is it? Just think about it. We're not going to go back into that. But Mark Fellows, striking contrast to them, I say a proper hitman. And with all the information that I have now, uh, rather than a few months ago, was a very, very serious, serious individual. Those two murders he got convicted of, the one at um, Liverpool and the one um, in Manchester, professionally done. But for advanced technology, he could have never got nicked. He done those hits quietly, done all his homework, slept in the, um, a hotel nearby or friends nearby, cased out the person's joint, watched their um, day to day movements, creatures of habits, pick a time most suitable when there's no one else around and go and do the job. Mark Fellows did it, I believe, on both occasions. That's what I say is a proper hitman, like it or not, he is. I get phone calls from the category A's, I'll tell you that straight. People talk to him. Of course, I'm pro Massey, Paul Massey, my heart belongs there. But we can't hide away from the, from the facts. Mark Fellows goes all alone, plans it proper and executes it in real cold, calculating blood and ways. Serious geezer, right? There's a couple of hitmen we talked about in jail that were clinical like that, but obviously if you do them out in the open, there's always someone there to see something. With Mark Fellows, not too much around when he committed those crimes. Why? Cashman, for whatever reasons. Yeah, well, all right. You, you're saying in the comments this morning, don't make me laugh. Yeah, but he, he probably knows he has to get rid of him. You know, otherwise he's going to get it. And that's the only chance he's ever going to get. Of course. The other fellow that Cashman was after. Yeah, number one running in there. Um, he does. That's I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Because you're running for shelter with people that you don't know. And you're putting them in harm too. Why not stand up? Take your take a beating like a man. You're unarmed. You don't want to. You're frightened. You run for shelter. And because of your actions too, little Olivia died as well. I agree with you. He played his part as well. 100% on that one. You see it? But shooting through the door, that's prey or spray. That's not a great, great hit, man. Behave yourself, right? Fellows is. Ellie Edwards, so sad. Obviously, Let's not surmise too much. I believe she wasn't the intended target. But yet four men who was around at that time got nicks here and there. It's quite obvious to see that I don't think all four of them were connected with each other either. But we're not allowed to. We don't, we'll leave that. We don't comment on ongoing cases. We will see you in the summer. But Uncle Yami says, come on, in for a penny, in for a pound. Not no, not no great hit, man. 100% cash, man. Definitely not. Whatever the reasoning was, and the person that he was chasing. So, yep, I give you lot that bit as well. But Mark Fellows, you want to know about a hitman, right? Because remember, I don't, I don't know Mark Fellows, but I speak to three people from that neck of the woods and no, I got that wrong as well. Mark Fellows shows his face every day and he's whatever, he's prepared for those attacks that could possibly come back from retribution with Paul Massey, but Mark Fellows will be prepared every single day of that sentence. Whether I like it or not, whether you not like it or not, Mark Fellows will face the music and be ready for it when it comes. Cashman and whoever gets convicted on the Ellie Edwards thing, I'm afraid it's not the same thing, if you get what I mean. Your time in there is different to a man like Fellows. So at some stage, whoever, for both of them, and that you're loose cannons, and I know it's the world we live in today, uh, but pray and spray, you'll be praying when you get in there, that you wish that you would have never had it. And also, the Cashman fee, you got it wrong. If you got it wrong, and you're heartbroken, and you can't live with it, you know, the moral cowardice of not turning up for sin. That's the name of the word, you know. It was the kangaroo court. It was all against me. They were all singing at the end. At the end of it. I won't be appearing for sentence. It never went my way. Blah, 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 blah. You see what I mean? Moral cowardice.
not accepting. But a man said to me yesterday, Yami, if that was you and that was me, and I went on a mission like that, one of you said it, only one of you in the comments said it. And you got the little girl, get the rope up there, hang yourself. Trust me, brutally frank, you get that bit wrong, mate. That's, no, I can't say the best course of action, but I believe if I would have been like that, that's what I would have done. I swear down, I wouldn't be able to live with that. And many of you who lived that life would have thought the same as me. We would have been haunted forever. Bad, bad mistake. Got me? Coming up later on. Loads of love. Have a blessed day.